This is Nostalgia at Night, and today we're going to be reviewing a medium that's uh, gone by the wayside, the audio cassette tape. Um, so yeah, it got its start in 1962. Um, and you can see here I got some laid out. Two samples of these, uh, not the 1962 models, because those were actually um, released in Europe. And they were a compact cassette, and they were basically for a children's toy. So these aren't actually the original audio cassette tapes. Uh, an example of those is these are latter day <laughs> cassette tapes. Uh, and then again, in so 62, these were released as a children's toy. Um, the manufacturer, the Philips company, decided to uh, uh, take this to the U.S. market in 64. That's 1964, and then. Um, it kind of took off from there. Uh, it's the uh, the novelty of, of these, and uh, they were really really uh, intriguing. Intrigued uh, had really intrigued uh, the teens of the '60s, um, especially the ability to uh, record uh, their music collections from their vinyls, vinyl records. So uh, yeah, and, and again, we're looking at. Uh, musician produced uh, cassette tapes here uh, the, the big seller when they when these first came out were actually blank tapes that people could use to make their own mixtapes with um, from their record collection so they can mix and match uh, songs across uh, artists and uh, trade tapes you know that's that's a thing um, so it was kind of a really fascinating way to, uh, to access and transfer uh, dig uh, musical information so to speak um, <clears throat> and, uh, so blank tapes were huge. Um, and at the same time, also there were, there were artists releasing on this medium, but it wasn't, um, as popular, uh, to have these, um, uh, you know, released albums from known musicians, uh, just because the, the audio of, um, Pre-recorded cassettes um, like these uh, did, wasn't there. Uh, the the early ones rather um, didn't compare to the quality of the phon phonographic records. And so, the blank tapes were just kind of a handy thing um, for uh, audio files at that time. Uh, but in '68, the quality got better. Uh, there's a technology developed called the Dolby noise reduction. Um, and cassette players themselves also got better. Um, so as a result, uh, these actually started being sought after. Um, so you can see that one technology replacing another. Um, and in filming in 2019, records are still actually have rekindled an interest because of the quality of their sound. Um, audio cassettes are kind of um, in the middle somewhere. Um, just as an aside there, um, but in 68, these really took off, uh, and then they're also competing against the eight track, which was striking it, which was a much larger, um, much larger sort of cassette tape. And you would actually just use it. Um, and they in, in insert it into a, uh, eight track player, which usually would be in an automobile. And the 8-track manufacturer struck a deal with Ford and uh, at that point, and they are trying to make that so that the 8-track was something to listen to when you were cruising. And, um, but also cassette tapes were as well. That's, that's the other thing is uh, these were um, quite common to have an a, uh, a cassette player in, in your vehicle years back. Um, but uh, it, it's at some point during the you know r around the uh, mid seventies, um, these these ones started taking off and and they kind of over overtook the sales the market uh, for the eight track and uh, these became the the dominant medium uh, for for listening to music. Um, so yeah, in the mid seventies, the early eighties, this was kind of the peak for the audio cassette tape. And it's kind of funny to think about that. Uh, given um, my time period, uh, just thinking about audio cassettes as being obsolete because um, they were always around, you know, and uh, just prevalent and that was the medium. You just didn't question it. 
you got to rewind these things, you know. So, <laughs> um, but it is the um, it is the hegemony, and then the uh, the 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 antithesis, and then the synthesis, uh, so to speak. Um, so this replaces records, and we'll find later that uh, in the '90s. Uh, this is when the audio cassette started to decline uh, with the ad advent of the CD, uh, compact disc, digital audio. Uh, and the CD was actually made in 82. However, the again, the technology, the quality of the sound wasn't there until the early 90s. Um, and then at that point, the early 90s is when it surpassed the quality of the audio cassette tape. So that's kind of just a synopsis. It's it's interesting uh, to think about in the 90s, you know, the vehicles uh, that had a uh, cassette player in them were, were high tech and the uh, vehicles with just a radio, an AM, FM radio were considered uh, low tech technologies or low tech vehicles. So we'll, let's, let's go in here and uh, take a look at some of these. So yeah, we got the uh, plastic case these came in, these little bricks, basically. <laughs> on the back here, you got, you got the tracks that are on that album. Program one, got the cover art here of Hendrix, Band of Gypsies. And these actually open up like this. You can see these pins right here, these plastic pins, they stab down into that and into, into the holes there that pin it down so it's not rattling. Just set this off to the side and bring this forward a little bit. All right, so we got the uh, the actual tape right in there that's running. And that'll run through the cassette player. And there it is. I read an article where some of these were actually uh, worth worth some money. Uh, for example, uh, apparently uh, Metallica's early cassette tape that they were selling out of the back of their van, and uh, they uh, that so that apparently that's 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 quite pricey to track down. It's highly sought after. Um, yeah, and so this is side two. Side one. All right, you get the idea. All right, <clears throat> and you get the the cover art. Hendrix with his axe, spine of it, this album tracks, and it unfolds here. Get a panoramic fold out here. I've got a little got a lyric in there. You probably can't see. There it is. From Hendrix himself. So these are the kind of things that you would find in uh, cassette tapes. And you can see here this one actually broken this is a good example of a broken one see this uh, does not work so you can see that's a it's a it's a relatively durable plastic but it doesn't take much you know one solid drop you can see that broken off there one solid drop on the ground and uh, that's history you know um, you can say the same thing with CD cases too um, but uh, yeah, you can see how it cracks, and spiders out when it does crack. Um, so yeah, we got Aerosmith here, Permanent Vacation, Geffen Records, Dolby logo, Dolby. All right, okay, so we got that, those two, and. Um, they're basically musical bricks, you know. Uh, if you look at them, I mean, just in in the package and everything, it's 
you know, they're kind of neat. <clears throat> and I can see how teens would have found the novelty in them at that time because they were dealing with discs, discus like uh, black vinyl. And uh, now you get these chunky bricks that you put in. You get a very satisfying uh, sound. When you put it in, it clicks in. And then it starts uh, jamming your favorite tune. So, yeah. And then again, this is uh, actually a transitory technology here. This is uh, in terms of the uh, advancements in technology. You know, if you have a cassette player, uh, this is just essentially, you could plug this into your phone and you have a cassette player in, in your vehicle, you know, and like if you have a 90s vehicle, you can plug this baby in, attach it to your phone, and play, you know, something from a digital music source and jam out that way. So, I mean, you can have a shuffle, of course, and you'll use the pro whatever programs on your phone or MP3 player. So this is this is kind of a a mashup, actually, if you will, because it's it's it's, it's your own mixtape, uh, but it just channels digital music from your your online uh, music list, you know, so um, it's kind of a, like an interesting throwback because the original audio cassette tapes uh, in the 60s were mostly blank tapes that were used to record from vinyl to mix your tapes. And then this one here again is uh, is an adapter that goes into your, your smartphone and uh, you can shuffle through a playlist and make your own kind of mixtape, you know. Um, <laughs> so this is... Uh, this is the audio cassette tape, or shall I say, this was the audio cassette tape. Um, you notice how over the years that uh, you know vinyl was replaced by audio cassette and uh, and eight track, and then audio cassette replaced eight track, CD replaced audio cassette, and. CD is now going away to digital, and we'll see what's uh, what's the next uh, what's the next technology to be developed that's uh, that's music to our ears. Um, so uh, this has been nostalgia at night. Thanks. Oh, and I forgot to add. Uh, oh, and I forgot to add about. Uh, you know, I, I actually and there is there is an interesting phenomena because vinyl is back. And it's uh, it's popular, uh, but there are actually a thing that exists of of uh, tape vultures. Um, that's what they're called. Uh, I met I, I've known a guy for years who is uh, he's a devout audio cassette uh, appreciator. Uh, you know, so he goes out and goes he looks at yard sales and, and flea markets and antique shops, and he just he tracks these down. He he loves. He loves the audio cassette, the tape vulture.